What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. My name is Chris. That's Mike. Yes, it is. What's up? What's going on? We're doing The Walking Dead. This is episode three of season nine called Warning Signs. Mike, yes, it we're, is. We're, we're three episodes in, man. Um, I'm going to ask you, like I always do, what did, <laughs> what did you think of this episode, bro? Well, this one, I'm going to start off like I have the last couple episodes. I'm going to give it a B+. Plus. Oh, okay. I really enjoyed this episode, and I think that um, maybe my my ratings are going to be increasing significantly over these next uh, okay. few okay. few episodes. It's been uh, the more and more I've been watching, I'm really starting to see kind of like the effect that Angela Kang has put on right. on the show. Okay. Um, starting off really is with like we were talking about the, like the pacing of everything yeah and with justin we kind of find out right away what happened to him um well that he's a walker not necessarily who did it or how it happened but we find out his fate and i think just that would be something that may have taken three four five six episodes in the past well so yeah. Uh, yeah. we're getting bang 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 you know what i mean it's very so enjoy that yeah it's I, I i have to agree i i actually really enjoyed this episode I enjoyed it more. I'm enjoying them like each consecutive one more and more. Yeah. And it's seemed like what they've done is they've they've solved or they've cut way back on that just innate like talking that the some of the dialogue is just it was just so like cumbersome in, in, in this in especially the last season, like and it just was like and motivations weren't there. And yeah. like you said, this time around, it's very and it's very reminiscent now of Badlands, where Badlands is, you know, not only do you get answers right, but they're moving at a very nice pace, not too fast, but at a pace where it's like, oh, nothing's it's got some mystery. Forced or anything. Nothing's There's forced, not, right? I can, yeah. And what's yeah. happening now is, like you said, we're getting a thing, we're getting answers. But I like, I, I just, I like this where it's headed now, where it's, you know, oh, we have this. There's a thing happening. What is this mystery thing happening? There's a lot of mystery. There's a lot, there of, is a lot of secrets mystery. within, you know, there's secrets so, within groups and. But and see, that's, yeah, dude, that's it, the, it's interesting stuff. It's that's really the good thing, and that's that's what I want to say and, and talk about yeah. how the fact that we're getting to see all these point of views. So so for the longest time, it's like Rick, 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 right, and everyone follow Rick. But now, you know, we did have a little bit of contention previously, but now it's like. They yeah. all say, look, Rick is doing the best he can, and we all believed at one point in what Rick's doing, but now we see that that's not exactly what's going to happen. But not only that, we're getting to see other point of, points of views. So we're, it's, it's not just our group, but we're getting to see how Oceanside obviously deals with it. They decided to do yeah. their own thing. You can see the yeah. saviors decided to do their own thing, taking Carol hostage and, and, and trying to get the guns. It's about the guns, the guy says, right? Yeah. Forget his name. I I I like it. I like it. I like I like it. It's, it's like it. good motivations. It is. It's 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 getting me very excited again. I mean, for us to start a, a podcast based off of one of this show, you know, uh, is is one reason why. Um, listen, I used to I used to watch these episodes several times mm -hmm. on Sunday. I'd watch them at least a couple of times. I'm starting to do that again yeah. uh, with this. It opens up beautifully too because we got that great montage with Rick and the baby, and yeah. it's bittersweet because we find out that it's confirmed that we're only going to be with Rick two more episodes, which sucks. That's yeah, that 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 annoys me. That it annoys sucks. me. I mean, obviously <laughs> AMC and and everyone involved is like, you know what? We said it. It's out there. We're going. We're doing it full throttle. Like yeah, we're just I wonder, gonna. I wonder if it would be different. We're just gonna jump into it. If there was a mystery about, it. like, if they didn't announce that he was gonna be leaving, or not even necessarily him leaving, but just two episodes by episode five, he's gone. I wonder how much that would change us as the viewer watching it if we didn't know. Uh, yeah, you know? I, I think, I think I would like it. I think I'd like it better in that it's like, oh, is this gonna be the episode? Plus, I feel like you get more people watching, being like, yeah. is this gonna be the episode? Is this gonna be the episode? But, but, but. Yeah. Maybe they decided, and, and you know they've had this conversation. Obviously, they, they they've had this conversation probably to the point where their ears bled and their mouths fell out. You know, like zombies. Yeah. But yeah, you know they've decided that it's better that 
the lesser of 700 evils were was let's tell everybody when it's happening so everybody knows and when well, it's that, done it's done and then they have their, they have their reasons we so move I'm sure forward. they have yeah now exactly do you want to talk about what that means i mean we're probably going to talk about this obviously for the rest of the season but do you think mike that you know who's strong enough to to carry the show are you at this point seeing what you're seeing knowing yeah. that daryl and and uh maggie and carol mm -hmm. you know seeing that the the leaders of these of these factions at this point are they strong enough to carry the show do you think i think that all depends on how rick goes in the first place uh, i'm hearing little whispers of who may take him out if in fact he does get killed um, I would hate to hear like some of these rumors say about Daryl possibly doing something or, I mean, I don't necessarily think that's going to be the case, but I think it's, it's difficult. I think there's strong enough actors just to answer your question. Definitely. Right. I think that depending on how well it goes and if whomever tends to take the lead yeah. may, may, may force what they're going to do with fear also. I can see oh, Morgan yeah, yeah, yeah. or a crossover they thing going on. They might be bringing them on. in, yeah. I don't think that they started taping or anything, season five or any, of Fear or anything yet, but I can de depending on how well it works out, right, it may depend on what Fear does and Morgan coming back or maybe sparking some interest that way. But I don't think you need a character like Rick. Like you had spoken before, Rick was always the one. This is what we're doing. This mm -hmm. is this, this, mm -hmm. and everybody followed him. Yeah. I don't. Everybody's doing their own thing. We have the different communities. We have Oceanside. We have, you know, the Hilltop. We have Alexandria. That maybe it'll be more segregated, to where you don't need that one guy making all the rules because I have my setup here. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's not going to necessarily need that one person that's going to tell everybody what to do. It might be interesting. Each faction on their own might might just be interesting. I, I'm going to be honest. I don't know. I don't know if dude, I don't know either. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if it's if if I'm interested in that. Mm. But I will say there are some interesting things happening. So let's mm. talk about A or B. Let's yeah. talk about, you know, Anne slash Jadis and We're and gonna call what, it Jadis again because she's definitely You're gonna go back to Jadis. Jadis so, the whole fucking time. I wanna bring up there's a couple things I wanna bring up. What do you think A and B stands for? Because I have an idea. Well, at the end, she kind of says it um, when she when she hits um, when she hits Gabriel, and and Gabriel's like, "No, I have to tell Rick what you're doing." She she said, "Oh, I, I didn't necessarily think of you as an A, you know." No, no, as so, a B. She says, "I no. didn't think of you as a B." No, she she thinks of him. She thought him. of him as an A. She didn't think of him as a B. You sure about that? I'm pretty sure, yeah, because I I, I remarked. Sure. I, I remarked to myself. Well, like, regardless of however it is, I well, mean, I took it as her saying, I thought you were a B, but by you standing up to me, you're, you know, you're an A. That's well, how I took it. We could be wrong. So you guys let us know. Okay, so, so wrong, here, right? here's a couple. it has something to do with a, a class. Okay, so uh, you're saying alpha or beta, which, which if we're going to talk that, we're talking about whispers, the whispers. Oh, see, whispers. I didn't take it as whispers. I don't necessarily think A and that... B. Well, think about it. alpha and beta. If we're if we're gonna go, let's go down that route for one second. Alpha and yeah. beta, those are the whispers. Well, spoilers. Yeah, if you don't. I know. don't give a shit. Yeah, it's, well, listen, are, guys. But... If you if you're watching the show, I don't care. You, you you know about the whispers, whatever. Yeah. Also, forget alpha and beta for a second. All right, we're not we're not gonna get into that theory right now. What about alive or bitten? Because think about yeah. think about it. Think about what she what she was gonna make she was gonna that, see, uh, bite to rick makes more sense and have, did you see the trailer for the next episode um she's got another uh, walker about to bite um gabriel oh uh, that's right that's right that's so right. See, i never looked at it that way i mean that to me makes more sense than the alpha beta thing right I right. mean, did the Whispers, listen, I'm not that far. The Whispers didn't have helicopters and stuff in the comic no, book, No, they? they didn't. No, no, no. They were, they're just a group that live yeah, in the woods. they just roam and they hoard right. around mm. with. So, listen, to get back to you you saying, what do I necessarily think? Now, that point of you saying alive and bitten sound, kind of sounds cool. I, I have, one more, I have one more thing for you, though. All right. Well, let me just, 
I take I took it more as um, like a class status. All right, the leader, right. the strong person. Because listen, on Talking Dead, they did ask um, uh, Pollyanna McIntosh um, who would Rick be, and they said, and she said an A. Right. Well, well. So that, I'm thinking that's like the alpha male, the right. strong, the an intelligent. A class, B class. Right. And who, then the who's going to be don't necessarily take care of themselves? Because they're or, trading them. They're trading them. They're com- yeah. they become they become a commodity. So and wherever well, they're going. So you can explain your other uh, theory on that too. Did you? There was images. Did you remember? If you go back and watch Terminus, remember the train cars they were in? Yeah, I did see that. There was an A on the there's train. There's an car. A on they, the train. There's car. a lot of Easter eggs. They right. Say. So so I think that that's pretty dope. If mm. we go all the way back to what was that season five? Yeah. When when we see things like that, like that that now now they're tying in things from the past. Like I like that. I think that's I think that's stuff that you need to do because that could be just fun for the fans though. Well, or part of the story. It could be. Terminus was part of the story. Like you don't know. They were housing people. Maybe they were also trading people. They were eating people, but they could have also been trading with the if this group has been around, that's what I like. I like the idea of that this group, whoever they are have been around for a long, long time. Um, yeah. Another thing that I liked was uh, mm. when we find out that it's Oceanside, you know? Yeah. You yeah. you, you have Daryl and Maggie. They walk away. And, you know, two things with that. Mm. When Cindy says to her, you know, you showed us the way. When you hung Gregory, you showed us that there was... Yeah, another way, not just Rick's way. There was another way, and and they decided to dis, to make to take that into their own hands, and and I just like that. That I didn't I didn't like that it happened because for some reason I feel like Rick. I'm like I want everybody to get along. Like I want everybody to thrive, yeah. but but that's just me. I yeah. Chris wants that to happen, so it was unsettling to see all that just happen and they walked away. But yeah. I liked it though because it's like. Yes, that's what you do. There are, there's no happy endings. That's what you do. And yeah, I mean, and listen, I did it. did did Cindy have the right to do that? I mean, anybody would say, of course. You know, at first when she says to Maggie, it's really because of that's you, and this is or well, Maggie yeah. says it's you did this because of me. I actually thought that she would, she was questioning herself, like, well, I can't. Maybe yeah. Rick is right, but then two minutes later, then she realizes, saying, I'm gonna yeah. go. I gotta go kill. I'm going to go take care of Negan. No, she out. likes like, it. That's do what she, you got to do. She, that, that solidify that, that click something in place for her. So yeah. whatever, whatever doubt that she had went away at that point. And now she's like, okay, quick. I there mean, are quick. people that will follow me is in, is what she's thinking in her mind. How about, uh, the scene in the woods? And I want to, I want to start wrapping it up, I guess, but how about yeah. the scene in the woods with Carol and Rick with the two dudes? Yeah. Um, Again, I really like that scene. And, you know, Carol, I never feel Carol's in, in danger. Oh, Obviously, no. she's not. But the fact that, you know, she stabs him and he says, you can go get yourself patched up. Like, they're it's... just. <laughs> no, go for it. Go I was going to say, they're just making really good narrative decisions. And again, the biggest thing for me is motivations and the follow through. I feel like last season or the season before that specific that exact situation would have played out differently, you know. Yeah, I, I agree. And it would I have did. been like, oh, really, really. But this was like, yeah. I don't know why. I just I enjoyed. You can see the difference, and and I'm enjoying it, man. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it too, dude. I agree with you 100 percent about the narrative and the dialogue overall. Now, with Carol and and Rick, is that the last time we're going to see them together? You know what I mean? We oh, haven't really seen them man. so much. And even with Maggie and Darren, we're seeing so many characters interact. Now, what I want to tell the viewer, and we, I already told you this before we started recording, is the fact that in the past, besides the first few seasons, besides before the cast and and all these so, – so many, there's so many characters developed. Yeah. There was a select few. There was a small group of people right. that – were f- fantastic actors, Shane and Dale, and all just even from some of the old cast. And we saw them Dude, every episode. You know what I mean? Yeah. We saw them every episode. You saw the great acting. We saw the great dialogue, the interaction of characters all the time. Right. We've been lacking that. 
A hundred percent. We've been lacking that the past few seasons. Yeah. We might not see, you know, uh, Rick for two, three episodes. We might not see Cal for four episodes. We might not see Daryl. Daryl's finally getting some, some, um, yeah, some, eight uh, seasons, nine seasons yeah. later. Yeah. So it's great to see within these first three episodes that we're seeing the main guys all the time and they're having great scenes. Mm-hmm. The, the, the scene of, I mentioned it already with Michonne and Judith and Rick, just uh, this 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 nice montage, and and to see the dialogue between Daryl and Rick already several times in these first three episodes, it's a breath of fresh and air. Have it mean something. Have those and words that, dude, that they're speaking mean it's something. Such good stuff. Instead of just saying, "Oh, we have to have a scene with these two now. Now we have to have a scene with these two guys," because yeah. that's as the viewer, that's what it felt like. Yep. Yep. It felt like this episode could have been 30, 31 minutes. Yeah. And having cut out all that dumb dialogue for no, to, just just to have them on screen to have them say something now yep. who yep. knows why that was was it oh they in the contracts was it this was it that who the hell knows but the point is a, is that it was it was big it was an all-out war and they stretched it way too long and the thing is also too is finally in this episode we get some kind of this substance about the oceanside people now yeah they fought excuse me we all we did was bitch about the oceanside yeah we got this cool little story about some guy coming in, killing all the men, and that was really it. Right now, so now right now, it all now, came right. to fruition. Like, all right, there's a reason why these fucking Oceanside people are here. Yep, because the Oceanside have they have revenge on their mind. Right, and they were taking out these fucking saviors that destroyed their their lives. Their lives, right? So it's, Absolutely. It's, there was a purpose for there's a purpose for everyone. Yep. You know what I mean? Yep. And that's that's like super super cool. And I'm gonna I'm gonna give Angela Kang a lot of praise, and let's hope she keeps it up. Yeah. But um, I mean, to really wrap it up is we got two more episodes of Rick. I think they're gonna be fantastic. I can't wait to see what yeah. happens in the next episode. But that's gonna make this season or not, or this half season or whatever, is how they do it. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. How are they gonna do it? I don't want a cliffhanger. I don't want Glenn underneath the fucking pail, the dumpster, and we don't know if he's dead or alive for a whole fucking off season. Yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to have Negan have everybody kneeling in the woods, and we don't find out who he bashes. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't want Rick to get taken by somebody, thrown in the helicopter, and takes off, and we never know if he's going to come back or not. Right. Yeah. I want right. it to be conclusive. I want to know for sure what's going on with this dude. And let's I just move him. forward and just move forward. Yeah. And Give us what we goes. need, and let's move forward. Because, again, I'm going to bring up Badlands. That's what we're, that's that yeah. show works so well because it's let's give them this, 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 and this. Mm-hmm. Let's mm-hmm. resolve this, this, and and maybe this, and then we'll just move forward. Everything, yeah. everybody, move forward. Move yep. it forward. Get yep. them going. Let's 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 get it going. And and yeah. So I I absolutely agree. So but very cool, man. Yeah. yeah. I mean, um, obviously, guys, you know, uh, tell us what you think you know in the comments and um yeah check us out on youtube of course third person pod on youtube you can go to actually third person pod.com right chris and they'll yeah. get you right to our youtube channel so that's very easy just type it in there if you want but like chris says get the comments in there we want to know what you guys think i mean we've been kind of grading them a little bit so if you want to throw in your grade of the episode in, in the yeah. description in the comments that would be awesome third person pod of course on facebook on twitter on instagram we're all over the place check us out on itunes as well if you want to listen to this but um let's 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 keep it coming i'm giving angela kang all the props and i know you are too chris and and let's see where this ends up. Yeah. And I just want to say thank you to everybody uh, who follows us on like Twitter and Instagram and, you know, for commenting and sharing our, our posts and our tweets and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, we appreciate that You know, stuff. we definitely appreciate that. Um, you know, we've met a lot of cool people on there. And just say hi to us, you know. That's tweet, it. You tweet us, you throw, throw us a message on Facebook or on Instagram, you know. Uh, yeah, and and if you if you listen to this on iTunes and you happen you know you happen to be listening to us there, if you wanna you wanna review us there, that's cool. It just helps us get our show out there more. And um, you know, Mike and I are uh, you know I've mentioned Badlands a couple of times now, but you know Mike and I are are real deep into Badlands. We we've been yep. interviewing uh, actors and the creators of that show, um, and we've got some really cool stuff going over there. We have an into the Badlands trivia show with with people from the show and community members alike. 
And but we have those links in the at the end of the video, right? We'll throw those maybe a couple links to the into the band yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get to yeah, yeah. And if not, obviously, you know, if I if I if I get to do it for this video, um, just you can obviously it's on our it's on our page, so you you can go right there. We're and, all over uh, the place. Check us out. We're all over the place. You see all the posts, but yeah, and we so, appreciate everything, guys. Absolutely. Thank you so much for the support. We really do appreciate it. And uh, that's gonna do it. So we will see you guys next time for the Walking Dead. Peace. If you guys like the show Into the Badlands, why not check out our interview playlist with the cast and crew, or check out our Into the Badlands trivia playlist with the cast and crew. And if you're like me and you love the 80s, why not check out the Retro Squat YouTube channel, or you can click one of the videos right here.